Munster final, which Cork won easily. It was Cork's second outing of the Munster Championship this season, having already beaten Limerick. For Mick O'Dwyer's Clare, today's encounter was their first after a league campaign that saw them finish fourth in Division 4. Both managers met before the throw-in. Mick O'Dwyer now in charge of his fifth championship side. His side started brightly enough, but it was Corker on the scoreboard first as Finton Gould, wearing 23, put over the first score. Cork bossed the opening period and they raced ahead as Gould put over his second point, his side's third, as the Rebels settled. Clare were now pretty much on the back foot as Cork put over points at will. Centre forward Brian Hurley got in on the act with this turn and score. It took fully 20 minutes for Clare to register their first point of the game and it came from the boot of Shane McGrath. Suddenly Clare were alive for the points from John Hayes, two frees from David Tuberty and this Rory Donnelly point and there's only two between the sides. And it came somewhat against the run of play that Cork scored the opening goal. A hopeful ball wasn't dealt with by John Hayes in the Clare goal. A quick exchange of passes and Daniel Goulding scored on 29 minutes to help Cork into a half-time lead of 111 to 7 points. Cork extended that lead through a Paul Kerrigan point, but Clare struck back immediately as Cahill O'Connor fed Gary Brennan and the Clare captain scored a fine goal for his side. And a little concern for Conor Cunahan. But Cork didn't panic in the excellent Daniel Goulding grabbed three points in a row, the third of those taking his personal tally to a golden five. Those Goulding scores knocked the heart out of Clare and Cork took control. Further scores from Goulds, John O'Rourke and another from the impressive Brian Hurley really finished it off for Cork. Conor Cunahan was able to empty his bench over the latter stages of the game. Many of the players would have, according to Mick O'Dwyer, have started in most other county sides. One of those, Kieran Sheehan, wearing 12, got a late Cork score. Clare did have the consolation of getting the last score of the game as David Tuberty put over a point in injury time. A win for Cork in the end, but work to do perhaps ahead of the Munster final meeting against Kerry. Here in Ennis has finished Cork 120, Clare 111. We put up a very good display. You know, they played exceptionally well. They kept fighting in all the way through. The goal before half time was the one that changed it. You know, we had got on top at the time, and they got a, the goal, and then they got a few points after that. But that's a very good Cork team, and they're a team that will be very hard to beat in the championship. Goal before half time is obviously very important. Yeah, look, I suppose goals are important at any stage. You know, their goal was crucial, but the fact that you said that we got the one before half time, I think, gave us a bit of a, a cushion again. And, and, you know, I suppose we were, we were always had that cushion. We didn't respect Cork that much today. We took them on and played our game, of, game as we generally do. I suppose they were dominant around the middle of the field. There were some very big men there and some very good footballers there. They, were, they won a lot of the breaks around the middle of the field. That's something we'll have to work on. So Cork are through to the Munster final where they play.